Hi, it's the Brook of That Gratitude Guy. Entrepreneurial gratitude. I was thinking about the other day when I was talking to some people that I knew that are entrepreneurs and realized what a small segment of the population it is. People will quote stats all the time about one out of 10 uh, businesses will make it, 99 out of uh, 100 businesses won't make it to five years and so forth. So I thought about the entrepreneurial and the entrepreneurial spirit of those that take on these challenges and go out on their own. It can be very lonely, it can be very frustrating, it can be very much something that works in your brain like that devil versus the angel, the devil going, what are you doing? Why don't you go back to that old job, the angel going, no, let's press forward. So I think as an entrepreneur and people that have that incredible entrepreneurial spirit, maybe gratitude's even a place where it might be more important than in others. We're keeping in mind when you're focusing on everything you have versus what you don't have. And as an entrepreneur, it is lonely out there. It's something where you have a dream. I heard recently somebody said if you have a dream and you give it a date, it becomes a goal. If a goal gets a plan of action, it becomes a plan and if the actual steps in the action plan go together then you actually have the dream coming true. So I respect and admire entrepreneurial people so much so maybe that's even more important for them to focus on the gratitude because sometimes it's a little dicey out there and it gets a little lonely. So focus on that gratitude, everything you have versus what you don't have, write in the gratitude journal. I trust it'll definitely make a difference in reinforcing that moving forward and realizing that dream of yours to be an entrepreneur and do whatever you're doing with a product or service or what have you. That's the message for today. Have a grateful day.